Hey everyone, even though it's not quite Christmas time yet, Duke Cannon has already started selling their holiday edition soaps. They actually started selling them back in October. I went ahead and bought the Holiday Slay Load, which is a pack of six soaps with holiday scents. Um, and I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I think about each one of these soaps. So I'm going to be ranking them from my least favorite to my favorite. That way you guys know what to expect if you buy these soaps as a gift for someone else or even for yourself. Okay. So on this channel, I really like to make videos about men's essentials or men's accessories, stuff like watches, sunglasses, grooming products like these soaps shaving accessories just anything that i think is an essential accessory for men please like and subscribe i really appreciate you stopping by and watching my video let's talk about these soaps all right everyone my least favorite out of all these soaps is this mall santa's cough syrup and well Something that they mention in their product specs for this one is it smells like the North Pole and peppermints. That is extremely accurate. I don't know what the North Pole smells like, but this soap definitely smells like peppermints. It's not a bad smell at all, but for me, it is way too sweet and has way too much peppermint scent in it. One thing that I mention on other videos about Dr. Squatch and Duke Cannon that I make is that I like it when a soap is well balanced. And by that, I mean that I can get different notes of different scents in the soap. With this one, it's just extremely sugary and extremely pepperminty. I actually think that this is a soap that Buddy the Elf would actually try to eat. So if you like peppermint, you're gonna love this soap. It's not a soap that I could see myself using after Christmas time. Uh, this is one that I would just want to use during Christmas time. It smells good, but overall, it's way too sugary for me, guys. Now, performance-wise, it actually did leave my skin feeling really soft, and having that scent in the shower is nice, but it's still too pepperminty, okay? So, if you want a good lather, this one's going to give you a great lather. It's going to leave your skin feeling soft and amazing. But if you don't like peppermint, don't buy this one. One of my favorite things about Duke Cannon is how much effort they put into creating the artwork for the boxes um, for their soap, right? Like the packaging. This mall Santa's cough syrup is hilarious. It's got the drunk Santa, you know, shushing you, telling you to not spill his secret about the cough syrup that he's he's got there in, in that bottle. So that's pretty funny. On the other side, on one side of the box, it says smells like the North Pole and peppermint. And then on the other side, they've got a paragraph here highlighting how Duke Cannon takes holiday traditions seriously. I'm not gonna read that whole paragraph, but I love the artwork, guys. I think that's one way Duke Cannon beats Dr. Squatch, although Dr. Squatch has been getting creative with their box art too. I made a video about a month ago uh, about Dr. Squatch's Brick of the Dead soap, and on that box, they have a zombie Squatch with his brain sticking out. So, Dr. Squatch is stepping up their game, but I still think Duke Cannon has him beat uh, with the artwork so far. So, those are my thoughts about this small Santa's cough syrup. Guys, leave some comments. If you completely disagree with me on any of these rankings, let me know. Or if you agree with me, also let me know. I really appreciate your comments. All right, let's move on to number five on my list. Number five on my list is Rudolph's Much Deserved Nightcap. I did not like this one very much, and it's because it reminded me too much of the Bay Rum Soap from Duke Cannon. If you've smelled or used the Bay Rum, uh, then this one will remind you of that one. I did not like that Bay Rum Soap at all. It just didn't make a good lather, and I didn't like the scent. Um, now, this one... The scent notes that they highlight are cinnamon and antique wood. So this one smells way too much like antique wood for me. Like if you've, if you've ever been in an old house with old cabinets that smell like old wood, that's what this smells like to me. It's not very pleasant or masculine and I can barely get any cinnamon in the scent. So I just did not like this one at all. 
um, unfortunately. But if you do like the Bayram soap from Duke Cannon, you're gonna like this one. The lather on it, it was just weak. I like really frothy and foamy lathers. Uh, this one didn't do that. So overall, the soap is number five just because I, I, I don't like it, to be honest with you. Uh, the artwork on the box, though, is pretty funny. It's got um, Santa pouring, I don't know, maybe rum into Rudolph's cup there. And on the side here, it's got Rudolph the Extended Cut uh, song uh, with lyrics. Uh, and on the other side, it says smells a lot better than that Coward Blitzen. So overall, really cool art on here. Duke Cannon does amazing art. I love it. That's But that's number five on my list, guys. All right, and at number four is Frothy the Beer Man. Now this one actually has a really pleasant scent. Uh, it's got like a sandalwood beer mint scent. That's the best way I can describe it. Uh, but it reminds me too much of other beer, beer scented soaps that I've tried from Duke Cannon, like the Bush Beer Soap. If you've tried that one, this one's extremely close. This one just has a tiny bit more pepperminty smell and just a little bit of sweetness added to it. But other than that, it's not that different. I actually have said this before, but if you're gonna get one of Duke Cannon's uh, beer soaps, I would recommend getting their beer IPA soap uh, that has Deschutes um, IPA beer in it. That Duke Cannon soap with the shoots in it is a lot more balanced and I, I just really enjoy citrus neroli and beer combination uh that soap has those three ingredients in it so that's one i really enjoy that's probably my favorite duke cannon soap right now i think they might have discontinued it because i can't find it on the website anymore you might still be able to find it on amazon um but other than that this frothy the beer man soap is very pleasant very nice it's an excellent christmas soap because they did add a little bit of the peppermint and uh, maybe sugar or sweetness to it so yeah it's good and the artwork on it, it's got, you know, Frothy the Beer Man with two beer mugs and a corncob pipe. So that's pretty funny. Um, and then they have Frothy the Beer Man song on the side of this one too. So yeah, guys, that's number four. I liked it a lot. I think you will too. In and number three is the Oops All Brandy Homemade Eggnog. It's funny that they say all brandy, uh, but this one actually smells like eggnog to me. It's it, it, They did a really good job of getting that eggnog scent into this one. You know, that creamy nutmeg scent with a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, the lather actually feels that way too. It's got a great lather. It's gonna leave your skin feeling really soft. I actually ended up liking this one way more than I expected. I was thinking something that would be too overpowering with maybe a rum scent or an alcohol scent or bourbon, I mean, you know, but they didn't do that. This one's extremely well balanced and I love that. Like I said before, I just like it when soaps are well balanced. The artwork on this one, uh, pretty funny too. It's got, I think, I'm guessing a dad there spilling his bourbon all over the floor and the dog drinking it. Uh, that, that's pretty funny. <laughs> and then they've got a paragraph here talking about how Duke Cannon prefers to make his own eggnog. So this one is a winner for me, guys. I could see myself using this soap all throughout fall and winter, not just during the Christmas time. Uh, on the side of the packaging here, it says it smells better than a bottle of holiday cheer, which is true. So yeah, this one is great. I really liked it. That's why it's number three. All right, let's talk about number two. In at number two is Illegally Cut Pine. I absolutely loved the scent of this soap. I felt that they get a, they put a good amount of pine scent into it without being too overpowering. Duke Cannon also has their Fresh Cut Pine Soap. To me, it smells similar, but this one has a better pine scent. And the lather on this one was just a little bit better. It didn't have the best lather out of all of these soaps, but the scent was just so good. I liked it so much that I decided to put it in at number two. 
I do wish that the lather uh, was creamier with this one. Um, if you've tried Duke Cannon's Productivity Soap, that soap has an amazing lather. I think out of all the Duke Cannon stuff that I've tried, that Productivity Soap has the best lather out of all of them and it smells really good. I wish that this one um, had something similar. I feel like they probably could have done that, you know, since it's a similar scent, but not a big deal. I absolutely love this one. And the artwork on the box for this one is hilarious. Obviously, they are paying homage to Christmas Vacation with the cut down tree on a station wagon there. <laughs> um, I love that movie. Uh, on the box, it says, smells better than a stiff fine and restitution. And then they've got a paragraph about how Duke Cannon does not own a pre-lit Christmas tree. So I think Clark Griswold would absolutely love this soap. I really like this soap. It's awesome. I highly recommend this one. If you like pine scented soaps or if you know someone that likes that pine scent, I would give them this one for Christmas, okay? All right, guys, let's talk about number one. All right, my favorite soap out of all of these uh, was a complete surprise for myself just because they mention in the ingredients or in the scent notes, they say that it smells like bergamot and black pepper. This is the big ass lump of coal soap. It's got activated charcoal in it. Um, yeah, I was completely surprised because I've tried other grooming products for men with bergamot in them. I didn't like them. I, I don't know why, I just did not like it at all. And black pepper, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was gonna smell spicy or what, but this one, is amazing i am completely completely in love with this soap i'm gonna keep buying this soap uh for a long time now one of the main reasons i like it like i keep talking about is that it's well balanced i i don't get too much bergamot i don't get too much black pepper it smells so good it's got the perfect amount of sweetness and it's masculine now the lather itself was lacking a little bit, but I didn't care because it smells so good, in my opinion. It actually has activated charcoal in it, which I've heard is really good for your skin. So this is absolutely a winner for me. It's number one on my list. I highly recommend this one. I think you just you should buy this one for everyone, guys. This one smells so good. Um, on the box here, it says, may encourage mischief and shenanigans. And then it says, do Canon always makes the nice list above their paragraph there now the box on this one i see they were trying to be funny by saying it's a lump of coal uh maybe it's not the most creative one but i still like it um but yeah i highly recommend this one if you're gonna try one soap out of all of these i would say get this one this is the one of their best soaps ever i think that the uh the ipa soap with deschutes beer in it is probably still my favorite Duke Cannon soap of all time, but this one is competing with it. This one's definitely number two for me. So that is my ranking of this holiday sleigh load from Duke Cannon. Please let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments. I really wanna hear what you think about this one. If you've tried these, let me know. Please like and subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading more uh, ideas for Christmas presents, so. Yeah, guys, just thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this helps you make decisions on what to buy for Christmas presents. Thanks again. Have a great day and a great Christmas. I'll talk to you next time.